Good morning, another Saturday morning, and a beautiful morning it is too. Very cold though. So I'm in, I've just come into Bedfordshire, um, and I've just noticed a bit of a woodland going on over in the, beyond this field. So I've just come into this field just to go and investigate. Um, it'd be interesting to see what, what's actually in here. So I've just been talking to a guy that's um, just taking his dogs for a walk, um, just to see if I could get a little bit of information about this area. And this massive woodland that's here, it's interesting that uh, once upon a time it was closed. Um, it was closed off for pheasant shooting. But that's been stopped for a number of years now, and it's now sort of open and nobody challenges anybody there. So it's gonna be interesting to go and have a look have a look what's in this woodland and see if there's any good spots for future wild camping. So I'll let you know when I get in there. So I'm just approaching the approaching the woods now. I'm just going to follow this path. There is a pathway here and it is a public footpath. Well, it's a public bridle way as it goes. But let's uh, let's go and have a look what we've got here. I think I'm going to come in through here and start making my way into the into the woodland now. This is lovely. Oh, this is a lovely spot. And here, Well, this is quite uh, quite a thick quite a thick woodland actually could soon get lost in here you have to be careful of your footing in some places as well because of the damp and the moss it's a little bit slippy but whoop see I nearly went down yeah, it's lovely with the sun, the sun shining through the trees there. That's some beautiful spots that uh, that could be used for be used for wild camp. And I will stop and make a coffee whilst I'm in these woods as well today. I would like to send a drone up on the outside of the woods just to get a just to get a feel for the land as well. That'd be interesting. It looks like there's an old, was an old stream running through around the edge of, well, I'm not even sure it's the edge. I think it goes through the middle, to be honest, but uh, it's all dried up now, whatever it was. Quite a lot of dead wood around the floor as well. So it'd be perfect to, uh, it's a little bit damp at the moment, but I'm sure it'll dry out in time. I'm spoiled for choice on where to go.
woodlands and there's this bit of clearing it's like a path well not a path but it's like a I don't know it's like a clearing with no trees in it I suppose and uh, I'm just going to have a wander down here and see what's see what's down here I think it sort of runs through the, through the middle of the woods I think there's two or three of these when I looked on Google Maps I had a look at this woodland and it showed like pathways going down so I guess it's used for something and it being a bridal way it wouldn't surprise me if the area is used for horse riding down here as well although I've not seen evidence of horses I can't see horse hooves or horse poo which you would expect to see probably to a bit of a crossroads so there's straight in front of me there's some sort of structure in a tree which I'll show you in a moment to the left of me there's a another sort of clearing and there's another structure up there and if I turn to the right there's a bit of a track going through the through the woods by the looks of it all of this needs investigating in time okay let's carry on okay I'm walking down here There's some open areas here. I could send a drone up, couldn't I? Just to get a lie of the land. <clears throat> Might do that in a minute. So I saw one man when, when I first came into the area, the bloke that I'd spoke to about, uh, about the path and the woodland. And other than him, I've not seen another soul this morning. It's so, it's so nice just walking through here with nobody else about. I wish I knew what uh, a little bit more about this woodland. I guess I'll have to do a bit of research and see what I can find out. Like I say, it's in Bedfordshire. But I don't really want to reveal the location because I wouldn't want everybody turning up here and causing a problem that that they close it for people I'm not sure if it's officially open to the public but it looks like it's one of those bits of forgotten land But how fantastic for the wildlife. I bet there's all sorts in this forest. That's interesting. I've come to another crossroads. And on a post here. Yeah, it's all a bridal way along here. It's all a bridal way along here, so... It's great that they've um, created all these pathways. I'm not sure how often it gets used though, because like I say, there's no hoof prints or, or horse poo or anything like that around. Maybe in the summer months it gets used a bit more. There's a bit of a brook going on here. It is flowing, but it's flowing very, very slowly. So this old silver birch.
It's interesting. It looks like this area here could be some sort of target range. It is, yes, there's it's archery. I can see a target down there in the distance. A meters away from the target. There's some more targets over here as well. You'll see there's uh, black eagle markers on the trees. And quite a lot of trees around here. Just gonna take a walk down here now away from away from one of the targets to just have a look and see where see where it leads to Going over this little bridge now over this brook <clears throat> there's a target a target behind me as well black eagle oh, i don't know if that's the name of a club or or what but uh, interesting all the same now i'm back out onto a back out onto an open area again. There's vehicle tracks that go through through this part. And the part behind me. It would be useful to follow them at some point as well just to see if there's somewhere where i can park a vehicle i should think this is the uh, archery this is the archery club i should think ladies and gents toilets I'm gonna walk down this path now I'm gonna guess it's gonna come out on that to uh, on that track Can you hear the birds singing? I think I'm going to find a little spot down here. Let's 
send the drone up in the air. It looks like I'm getting to, the, to an edge of this woodland. It looks like a field in the distance. But it's so beautiful in this sunshine. I'm going to be exploring this woodland a little bit more. It's going to take a fair old while because it's quite a large, quite a large area. And I want to do some research as well. Because clearly I don't want to be I don't want to be setting up a camp where there's arrows likely to be flying around. So I need to make sure that I'm going to be in a completely separate area. Yes, yeah, so that's the first no entry sign that I've seen. Yeah, so there is a field. There's a field just here. What oh, beautiful sunshine as you come out of the woods. I think I'm going to send the drone up just here.
sent the drone up to about 135 meters there and it did go way up above the trees uh, and it just gave a bit of a, an indication to how how large this woodland is so there's lots of this area to explore there is an area in the middle of the for archery that I would need to stay away from um, but I will do a bit more research into this woodland and see if there's any more activities that, um, that I need to be aware of. What a beautiful walk though it is today. So I'm just going to walk up this bridal, path, bridal way now uh, just to have a look what's on the what's on the edge of the woodland. Clearly there's tractor tracks here so um, it is a farmer's land, so I don't know if I'm, no, I'm not trespassing um, because there is a bridal way and a walkway, so if I just carry on walking up here a little way the farmer's crops are growing in the field It's beautiful with that sun shining over the hill there. To get back into the woodland though, because this probably leads up to a farm and I don't want to be trespassing. So I think what I'm going to do is get back into the woods and make my way across to the other side of the woodland uh, and see what's that way. Yes, yeah, so I've come back in the woods now. I want to go and find a nice spot to make a cup of coffee. Just to warm my nose up. It has been cold this morning, but I'm warmed up now. It's just my nose. If I can warm my nose up, I'll be all right and you won't hear me sniffing all the time. Red kite flying above me. Beautiful. Quite a few branches been broken or sawn. Bit of mixture of the two really in this area. There's a nice fallen tree over there. I think I'm going to go and sit there and make, make a cup of coffee. Yeah, just there would be nice. Just there will be perfect for a cup of coffee.
Oh, that's a nice cup of coffee. So, I had a little bit of bad news this week. My best friend of 13 years, Charlie, English Springer Spaniel, um, he had to be put to sleep. He hasn't been well for quite a while, um, and, and he, is get, he was getting old. Um, and you could see that, and that's the reason that he wasn't coming on walks with me. He did come on the first walk, the Woodland Recce, the first video that I uploaded onto YouTube um, but it was clear that he was struggling to walk any walk any distance so we were taking him on short walks but even the short walks were proving a little bit too much for him and then in the last week or so he sort of deteriorated and um, he, he was just lethargic just laying around his tail wasn't wagging and uh, you know, I felt it was time to get him checked out of the vets. And the vet checked his stomach and identified that there was a large mass there that was preventing him from going toilet for one thing, because he hadn't, he hadn't been toilet for a couple of days and he hadn't been really eating either. So, you know, we didn't see, see that as being untoward. Um, he was drinking he was drinking quite a bit of water one day, but then no water the next day, but he wasn't dehydrated. The vet said that he was anemic as well, and there wasn't a great deal that the vet could do to, to, to make his suffering go away. So we were left with the very difficult decision, and, and Charlie was put to sleep as a result of that. He would have loved this woodland, when he was younger, he would have been running around. He wouldn't have stopped. He didn't have an off switch when he was younger. It didn't matter how tired he got. He would just keep going like a coiled spring. And I so wish that I'd found this woodland when he was younger because he really would have loved it. I am going to miss him. And, and I am going to be uploading a tribute at the, the same time that I upload this video to YouTube. So if anybody's interested in seeing that, they're more than welcome to um, click on click and view it. Charlie was my best friend. He followed me everywhere. He was like my shadow. And I've missed the last few days where he hasn't brought my slippers to the door. when I get home from work. But there's been other little things as well. You know, he used to sleep on the bed with us and growl when you moved your feet. And it's little things like that that you sort of miss. And we still haven't moved his toys or his blankets or his bed or anything out at the moment because we just haven't got the heart to. But we know we're going to have to at some point. And the areas will look very bleak when we do. But rest in peace, Charlie boy. Hope you're running in some woodland wherever you are, mate. If anybody's interested in seeing a little tribute to Charlie, 
it'll be it'll be uploaded with this video. Well, that was a lovely cup of coffee. Well, I suppose, I suppose we better get cracking and make tracks back to the car uh, and enjoy this uh, woodland walk as we go back. All packed away. Check there's no rubbish. Beautiful sky. I'm back out into the field that I started in now. along the edge a little bit of this field and red kites flying up there look probably can't see them on this camera but I can and they're amazing there's three of them flying together one's just broke off from the pair this pair I'm going to come down here one of these weekends though and uh, 
I'm going to build a camp. Now what's this on the back of this tree? Looks like somebody's been creating like some steps or something to get to get up, climb up the tree. Does look like a good climbing tree, I submit. I've enjoyed that walk this morning in the woods. Never been here before. Only explored a very small part of it, but I really would like to explore more. So I will be coming here again on a few occasions just to have a wander around and find a good spot. So it's quite a large, it's quite a large woodland and what you see here in length is that deep as well. Well that's how it felt when I was walking in there anyway. So thanks everyone for, for clicking on this video. I really appreciate you clicking on it and watching it. If you like it, please click the like button and if you subscribe, that'd be fantastic. If you click the notification bell, it will let you know that I've uploaded a new video. But most of all, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'm enjoying these walks. This is my 2022 and this is what I'm going to be doing every week. And just remember what I've said before, if you're feeling down or there's anything worrying you, put on some walking boots and go for a walk. And just remember, Charlie is no longer with us. And uh, he would have loved this woodland. He really would have. But if you want to see the, vid the tribute video to him, just have a look on my channel. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.